Hey everyone, got a somewhat interesting day going to be happening today, I think. Got to clean some sprayers out, load a chemical truck up for spraying corn because we finished spraying first pass soybeans last evening. We sprayed everything in three days, roughly three days. We're going to empty one sprayer into the other sprayer so that we have one sprayer that we can totally clean out. The other one has to go spray some slew so I'll probably get stuck in another slew. So that's what we're working on right now. I'll show you how we do it if it works. We've done it before but not this way. So we have all of these on all the ends of the boom sections to clean out because chemical gets stuck in there and then it can contaminate your boom and then you get what we call the eagle eagle wing but we also use this to empty out the sprayer you got gloves I don't want to touch that I know actually I came back here for you <laughs> I suppose good job thank you you didn't even touch me high five all right don't hit my sprayer Now we open this up, he'll get his pump going and then turn that section on. Hopefully he hits the right section control. There's 10 of them on there. And in theory, it'll all empty out of that sprayer through this one section. If you turn these here in the midway, no chemical comes out. So in theory, it should only come out of that one, in theory. I'm standing back because if he hits the wrong section, the nozzles are open, it's gonna mist everywhere. It's working! Working real good! It must be going empty. The stream is getting much less powerful. Okay, we've determined it to be empty. lost an inch off my hose I had to cut it off so I was around that 75 gallon mark so he gave me about 30 gallons worth of solution it's always best to agitate your atrazine before loading Make sure you always back up when you do this because the product in the tank, the way it sloshes around, you don't want to know what happens when you jerk it forward. The product flings it off the fork. Never happen. Never happen. You guys remember what this corner used to look like? It was pretty, pretty filled up and full. Pretty much going to be loaded the rest of the corn chemical will pretty much be loaded onto the trailer today. This is generic Liberty that we got through Egg Temp Solutions. Here is a bunch of fungicide and insecticide for late season. Probably be applied by the airplane unless the beans aren't that tall. But normally when the beans get tall we can't. That's the downfall of the top air sprayer. You can't really go through the beans on most years. So that probably will not be getting applied by us. Right here is our dry AMS ammonium sulfate. This we are actually short on. We need to make another order through Egg Chem Solutions. If you guys watched some of the last videos, I mentioned that we were short on it and we needed to order more. And I didn't know how long it takes, but I did call John and talk to him. And he said, normally two days, one to two days. Two days, I can wait two days. So if you guys are looking for any cheaper chemicals, hit them up. 
that's where we're going for this. He's got a real good price on this. And actually, if you're looking for Liberty, he was mentioning to me that it is at the all time low right now. And he is gonna be getting a huge shipment in. So if you're looking for glue stuff, innate, 280 SL which is generic Liberty give him a call because he'll hook you up so I've had a lot of people on Instagram ask what our spraying program is so for soybeans we do not put a pre on no pre we found that we still had the two pass with doing a pre so we said the heck with a pre plus we're crunch for time in the spring so we said give up on the pre We'll do an early post emerge and then second pass of soybeans will be in three weeks from about now, which it is June 4th today. We hit it first pass with leftover Flex Star, generic Flex Star, and Roundup. And second pass will be the Liberty, which will be in three weeks, like I said. For corn, it's Atrazine, Bellum, which is generic Callisto. We spray a lot of generics just because it's cheaper especially with the grain prices right now, we're trying to cut costs as much as possible. So atrazine, Callisto, Roundup, I think that's it. A couple of uh, some water condition, uh, AMS, yeah, water conditioning agent and spreader sticker solution that's really cheap that we found. Yeah, that's our spray program, if anyone cares to hear about. And on the other note, when I was on the phone with John from Agricultural Chemical Solutions, he had mentioned that a lot of you guys have been calling and uh, getting pricing and said that he's really moving a lot of products and people are really satisfied with his pricing. So thanks guys. Thanks for uh, mentioning me when you give him a call. He's a really nice guy. I'm sure you guys can agree. Get her full spanky or you run out of gas? Drained her on the fuel. Out of fuel. All right, you got that valve open soon? What valve? Good. This uh, containment system's been working great. We're still sucking it empty all the time though. With two sprayers going, I think yesterday alone, I think we sprayed 17,000 gallons roughly. So this is a pretty, pretty common sight to see here at the watering hole. As you can see, there's two very thirsty trailers wanting water. So yeah, when this is all full, I think we have roughly about 22,000 gallons on the yard when everything's filled up. I better check this tank. I don't know how full it is. Little over half. Little over half. Waiting. What do you got now? <laughs> Sick of the old stuff, we're upgraded. I don't think our credit card limit's that high. Holy cow, look at that. Are you kidding me? It's got that new tractor smell still. It sure looks like it does. You have no idea how pumped I am for this. <laughs> this is this is mine. You get the deer. I think. <laughs> Our tractor. Where are you going? Oh. He forgot our tractor. No. <laughs> I wish it didn't smell like a hospital in here, though. I think the COVID spray has been sprayed in here. They're Wouldn't disinfecting. No new tractor smell. It's a nursing home cleaning. slash cleaning hospital. solution. What? You gotta put John Deere on it or what? Someone needs to come show us how to open the hood. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even figure out how to open the hood. Don't break it. What do you think? What's this do? I don't know. I'm gonna go into the old one and sit there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of buttons and levers in here. Is this even called a lever anymore? No. Uh, can I play Atari? <laughs> is that how you steer it? Oh, there is a steering wheel. <laughs> 
Very European. Okay, I'm gonna get out and box scraper with the good old 6420. This is sweet. Let's, Too much. Let's go joy riding. Can we all three get in here and go joy riding? This guy's obsessed with wanting to look at the engine. How many horsepower is this unit? I think he said 400. We are missing a logo. We just look at the engine through this here screen. Well, you should never have to do any maintenance. It's a loner. <laughs> Not that I know. What? <laughs> <laughs> that didn't work. Maybe you never need to look under there. It runs on sunlight. I bet. <laughs> That's sure a funny looking diesel cap. It's blue. Watching YouTube videos to learn how to drive it. Well, we can't move it till we know how. Dad said get it out of the way, so we're just gonna push buttons. <laughs> I can't even get it turned over. How do you? Oh, uh, I don't know. You screwed this one up. Oh, this is unbelievable. Is there a park button? It's on. It's in park. Clutch. Try it again. It must run on a battery. Clutch. It's like a lawnmower. <laughs> I've never. Wow. Hopefully they'll tell us how to go forward. I'm just going to push buttons and slam her around. Here we go. <coughs> Something's happening. We're moving. Full steam ahead. I hope I can take off a little faster. <laughs> oh, the horn's the same spot as a deer. I like how quiet it is in here compared to our cat. This is nice. <laughs> I got all your lights on so they know we're coming. See, the old style, they had buttons all over the place. You never knew if all your lights were on or off, and now it's all in one spot. What's this button? <laughs> He's just like a two-year-old in here. Tell you Push what, every button that there sure is. That sure works better than the current one we have. I just want to go full speed. It goes to here and then whack. <laughs> it does. It's rusted. This is so smooth. I think I can subtract some if hours If you slam her into park on me, I'll be really upset. Oh boy. Things are moving. There, they reset the time, so we just got to reset it a little later on. I haven't told them that this is a demo yet. Oh. Wait, we own this. <laughs> Look at that. Folds it up and everything. Yeah, the ladder folds up. This is going to be sweet. Hold this right up here like that. Like right there. Yeah, right like that. Ready to go fast. Is this on eco mode or we'll just clear all the codes? Eco, full, custom. Yeah, where is that button? I think we were supposed to wait for the salesman, <laughs> but we're just out burning her around, ripping her around. Ah, that's smooth. Yeah, and quiet. Okay, how do we slow down again? We're coming to a sharp curve. You gotta hit something. <laughs> slow her down. I've never drove an IVT in my life. No, what this is, this is not, called? This this is is not CBT. an IVT. No. CBT. CBT. I've never drove one. Sure it's smooth though. It's like a hydro. The cab is smooth too. Yeah, this is a lot smoother than our, ours. Full RPM is 1750. We got build crews on. What's that road thing mean? We better park it and wait until the guy gets here. Start poking buttons everywhere. Hold on, let me connect to the radio. Bluetooth it? Yep. Press the button that needs to be pressed up there. Where? I don't know. We'll have to check the manual on that too. <laughs> Which one? You point from over there. Well, then I can't be wrong. We gotta get this hooked up to a sprayer. I gotta go spray some. Yep. What Double is this? Spray everything. Is that just telling that's you that you're going forward? That's indicating the forward motion. Just in case. Hold this because I need both hands to stop this thing. Okay, where are we going to park it? I'm going to turn off your lights now. You look like a <laughs> fool. Are there brakes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're a lot smoother than our last one that has none. How do we get it out of gear? Now you're we in got the a reverse. Beeper. We've got a beeper. Okay, you just push it once. What does that mean? A-K-T-I-Y? I don't know what that means. We're going in park mode. Our ladder is going down. We're going to shut it off so we don't put uh, unnecessary hours on it. Hey, it turns out, it turns off without <laughs> putting the clutch in. This is going to be way too much fun. Okay, I guess we wait for the salesman and unhook our sprayer at some point to, so that we can get this rigged up on our sprayer. I'm going to have to get hurt around this so we can sue for it. <laughs> My mom's the lawyer. I'll give her a call. I'm pretty sure we had to sign papers. No idiots allowed. No idiots allowed. <laughs> yeah, that's why that's here. That's going on our sprayer for a, a demo. Demo it. 16 hours of demoing. There's the driver. You gonna run it? Rock driver, you mean. Get in that tractor and go drive it. And use it on the trailer to pull uh, 
400 horse is a little bit much for a rock picker tractor. Oh, well, wow. Get big loads. <laughs> what are you doing? Mixing chemicals so we don't got to mix them later. <laughs> no, that we are not. We are dumping liquid atrazine from 2019 into our atrazine tank. We got a lot to go. Don't we, big Swede? We sure do. And then he loaded all these up. And then Randy came and or called and said you loaded way too much, so then we unloaded a bunch. Randy said he wanted 25 gallons. I had 1,900 acres worth on there, so. How's that contribute? It was about twice as much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is our atrazine tank and holds 200 gallons, which we need full. Sh shaken, not stirred. Transferring some adjuvants. I opened it too soon. She was pouring out of two holes. I tell you what, new guys. So we've got our Roundup, we've got our belly, Bellum, Bellum. We've got our spreader sticker going in currently. Waiting for water conditioner for this tank. And we got our Atrazine in this tank. So we're about ready to spray corn as soon as we get the cat hooked up. So we're currently cleaning out the red sprayer to get it ready for spraying corn. This is the one that's going to be on our cat. We're going to put the green sprayer on the demo cat. We're going to blast out the boom and do a nozzle check here. So basically, I don't know, I don't think you can really see the mist, but we are just checking to make sure that these are not plugged and that they're making the proper pattern because if you have one plug that's making streaks, it will not do a decent pattern like this one here. I think it's having an issue not making a nice pattern like that. So we're gonna have to take that one off and clean it. So nozzle check is good. We switched from our turbo T's that we were using on the soybeans to our air induction nozzles. Just different chemicals need different nozzle pattern, uh, bead droplet size stuff that's way over my head. I just do what the uh, agronomists tell us and that my sprayer guys tell us. So one sprayer ready for corn. I love watching machinery work. I also love the sound of this thing. Old cat. I guess he's not leaving. Maybe now he'll... That's the sound I like, make or beller. They don't make stuff like they used to. Well guys, sorry I didn't get any more footage of us getting this thing hooked up. We unhooked the 8430. We've got the MT740 here hooked up to the top air TA2400 gallon sprayer, 120 foot booms, and we are ready to go. This is a 400 horsepower tractor, like I said before. We, it is a demo unit for 16 hours. Cat is the one that contacted dad saying they want to get a demo of their new tractor, their CVT transmission and the, what is it called? Green, Green Link. It's the right card system so that you can run our 2630, which is actually their 2630, but 2630 Deer Globe and run their auto steer lines, all that, and it steers the tractor for us. Like I said before, we hand steer everything, so I don't know if it will really get used. So our sprayer here, we plugged it in. First time plugging it in, John Deere rate controller showed up on their 2630 that they have installed in here, which is a deer program, and it worked right away. So uh, I do like that, I think it's green fit. Right card green fit, whatever. It allows deer and cat to work together. So far it looks good. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you like this video. This thing will be operating tomorrow, uh, I believe tomorrow, if not next week. So make sure to subscribe so you're notified when our next videos come out. We did unhook the 8430, which is what I said. So we will be running both our cat and this one. So our last cat, or our cat that we own, is a 2004, so about 16 year old age difference. So we got the baby here. We're gonna see if we can keep up with Papa or outdo Papa. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.